morning to the Honorable Duchess. Today, I'm going to talk about a book which is titled The Faraway Tree Book. The author is Annette Blyton. Annette Mary Blyton is an English writer. Her book is among the best sellers in 1930s. This book is a collection. One of them is The Kiss and the Roundabout Land. Joey, Pat and Franny used to live in a town. One day, their father had work. They had to go to the countryside. They pack their things and off they go to the station. They ride a train to go to the countryside. When they reach the station, the porter took their bag and gave it to them. Then, they had no choice but to walk home. There were no buses that time. When they reached home, their mother made them a hot drink and they went to sleep. The next day, they helped their mother clean the house and that day they wanted to go discover the countryside. Suddenly, they went into the forest. They found, they heard a tree whispering to each other. Then, they went home for lunch. They told their father what they discovered. Their father told them that the tree has a strange name. The name is the Enchanted Wood. The kids began to be excited. Then, the next day, they cannot go to the forest because they were busy. When they were done cleaning up the house, their mother let them have lunch outdoors. And her mother packed them some sandwiches and a cup of milk. When they, off they go to the forest. When they reached the forest, they saw a gnome sitting at a toadstool. The gnome told them to not climb up the tree, but they didn't listen. When they are at the top of the tree, they found a purple hole. They fell in the purple hole and they rolled and rolled without stopping. When the land stopped, they found a tree and sat under the tree. They found a rabbit and invited them along the picnic. When they finished picnic, they wanted to go down. But Franny was just too tired. She told them that she was tired. Then, she began to cry. Moonface house belong to Moonface. Under the ladder has a house belong to Moonface. He flew the door open and asked if they have any toffee so that they can use the slippery slip. But none of them have any toffee. So, he shut the door and Franny began to cry. Joey shouted at Moonface that he will bring a homemade toffee if he let them use the slippery slip. Moonface opened the door and invited them in. They used the slippery slip and finally they went home. The, the moral value in this book is about do not be stubborn if not you will get yourself in trouble. For example, the gnome told them to not climb up the tree but they didn't listen. They must make perfect. The, the kids help their parents clean the house so the work will be easier. Is always do good deeds without asking for any in anything in return. For example, the kids help their mother, the parents to clean the house without asking for anything. That's all for now. Bye.